Hi students and welcome to today's live IELTS class. My name is Adrian and I'm streaming to you from beautiful Victoria here in Western Canada where we have an upcoming heat wave for the weekend. Welcome Domenico, welcome Alexi, nice to see members and nice to see our chat moderator joining in the class. Everybody, uh, this is an IELTS writing task too and it's kind of a classic topic, uh, climate change. This topic in fact was requested by one of our members, Anahita, um, because she suspects that this is a common topic and she is right. Climate change is definitely a topic that has appeared on the IELTS exam either in the listening, reading, writing or speaking sections. And it's certainly a topic that we're likely to see as uh, the world is experiencing climate change. It's an important topic for humanity. So uh, IELTS likes these kinds of um, topics that are pertinent or very present in, uh, in everyday life uh, for people historically. So we'll talk about climate change. Uh, you will learn lots of vocabulary related to climate change in this class. This is a members chat class, of course, everybody is welcome to watch, but to join the chat, you do need to be a member. Uh, you can click the join button next to the subscribe button. We will have a subscribers chat class after this one. It will be a listening class. So to join that class, simply subscribe. That's absolutely free to subscribe to the channel. And it's a great idea if you're getting ready for the IELTS exam. So in this class, we will go through the task two essay, what you should be focusing on in the 40 minutes, the steps, the strategies that will uh, get you uh, going towards a high band score, like a band seven, eight or nine in the IELTS exam. This lesson is presented to you by aehelp.com and gieltshelp.com. These are the websites that power these live classes. They are our websites. We develop them to help you pass the IELTS exam. Uh, our academic IELTS website looks like this at aehelp.com. You click this big red button to join the premium version of our IELTS course. Uh, there are lots of goodies for you in your My Student account. You can click your join button That's just, that was just above my head there and um, you can enter this code PANDA9 which is kind of I guess related to climate change and nature. Um, climate change affects, of course, all the world, animals included, and pandas are becoming quite scarce. So Panda 9 um, will get you a 10% discount. For general IELTS, same idea, uh, gieltshelp.com. Click that big red button that's just above my head there. Uh, welcome, Carolina. Hi, Amra. Ricardo, Fuang, nice to see New members joining in as well. Uh, Ricardo, it's good that you're attending classes regularly. I see that you're being studious. That's fantastic. It's a great, great way to improve your scores and your communication. And today it will be written communication. Again, everybody remember, we have these new newsletters coming out. There's a post on our YouTube community about that. Um, we want to know um, your thoughts and uh, whether or not you like these newsletters. And uh, of course we have apps that you can download and install. Academic IELTS Help will link to aehelp.com. General IELTS Help will link to gieltshelp.com uh, to learn daily vocabulary and get some good reels uh, for speaking. Visit us at uh, IELTS underscore aehelp, gieltshelp. Help. That's the place you want to be. Um, yeah, we have the world's most advanced IELTS course. Uh, we create the most content um, and uh, we're leaders when it comes to IELTS exam preparation. If you have questions, just ask adrian at aehelp.com, admin at aehelp.com. I have been teaching IELTS for nearly 20 years. I've taken the IELTS, I've created the IELTS, um, and um, I have a degree in psychology. I'm a British Council agent, so ask me any question that you have. We work with British Council with IDP, so ask, ask away. Um, <clears throat> all right, so students, uh, again, task two right now, listening. Tomorrow we have a speaking part two for members, uh, speaking part three for everyone. So 
make sure to join me tomorrow as well. Uh, we will have a new video coming out. This video was just from last week. We do weekly video releases on YouTube. Uh, check this out when you have a second. It's great practice for your speaking. All right, Alexi, thank you for putting my email into uh, the uh, chat there. Moderators, you're awesome. Panda faces and all. All right. Uh, so again, this is a question that was sent to us by Anahita. Um, I don't know if I, oh, there you are, Anahita. Yeah, uh, right, Anahita? I re, I'm, I'm recalling correctly, you sent this question. Uh, maybe, Anahita, tell people in the chat why you sent this question. What was the um, motivation for you to uh, ask me to uh, teach this question topic? Okay. Uh, step one, <clears throat> students, in the writing section, okay, writing section comes after reading. Uh, a lot of students uh, are in a rush when you're in the reading section, especially near the end. So, you know, you're rushing uh, through your reading. Just remember that when you get to the writing, slow down, okay? Uh, don't rush through the question because if you misinterpret the question, if you don't understand it accurately or clearly, and you write off topic or you write in the wrong way or wrong answer style, that will have a adverse effect on your mark, which means a negative effect, okay? Alexi says, I'm afraid of topics about nature. You shouldn't be. Nature is actually quite a good topic to have, in my opinion, okay? All right, um, so, here we go, everybody. Let's read carefully. So read slowly, read carefully, okay? So that's my first tip for your uh, writing section. So read carefully, slowly, and critically, okay? Critically basically means thinking, okay? All right, so let's do this. Let's read this first. Uh, you should spend about 40 minutes on this task. Definitely spend 40 minutes. So check the time, check the clock um, in the computer-based exam. It's right there in the paper-based exam. There should be a clock available. Spend 40 minutes on task two because it's worth twice the uh, amount of task one. Okay. So here we go. Uh, climate change is one of the most significant challenges facing the world today. Okay, that's a statement, right? It's not a question, it's a statement. What are the causes of climate change? What actions can individuals and governments take to address this issue? Use explanations and examples from your own experience to support your points. Okay, sure. So number one, uh, first step, okay, is paraphrase the question. It means uh, replace the words with your own vocabulary to state the same information in another way. Okay, now when you do this, uh, do not omit information. Okay, uh, like, uh, for example, don't just say what actions can governments take. It's asking you what actions can individuals and governments take. Okay. Um, and then um, make sure that you don't add information. Now, those are the two common mistakes when students are paraphrasing. They either take out a piece of information or they add a piece of information that's not in there. Okay, um, so adding information uh, would be like um, like something like uh, what actions can individuals and governments take to address this issue and uh, save um, endangered species? Okay, endangered species are animals like the panda um, that are uh, low in numbers uh, and potentially dying out. So that's not in there, right? We're not talking about endangered species, right? So uh, careful not to add information into it, all right? So uh, here, let's do this together, okay? Um, members, moderators, paraphrase this question, okay? 
So write this in your own words and you should replace keywords. So words like climate change, uh, you should definitely um, use different words, okay? Significant challenges, um, definitely uh, you want to paraphrase that, okay? Causes of, okay, paraphrase that. Individuals, governments, paraphrase that. Okay? So Alexi, our moderator, has this for us right now. Okay, Let's see what Alexi's doing here. Alexi says climate changes. Let's try to paraphrase that. I will do that in a moment, um, Alexi. I want you to think about that. So climate changes are considered as one of the most crucial challenges that our modern world is facing. Okay, uh, facing is um, still similar to here, right? So we want to try to replace words, Alexi, like climate change uh, and uh, facing. Uh, what are reasons of climate change? Not climate changes, it's a singular here, Alexi. What should humanity, especially authorities and individuals do to avoid uh, this issue? Um, I'm not sure if it's avoid. So Alexi, I wouldn't say avoid is the best um, word here. You can use other words like, for example, remedy, okay? Remedy means medicine, right? It means to fix, to solve as well. So to remedy, all right? It's not bad, Alexi. I'll give you a five out of 10 on that paraphrase. I think you can find more words and uh, also you need to be a little bit more careful with your word choice there, okay? All right, um, Chayani, let's see what you have, okay? And before I spoil the fun with my own paraphrase, let's take a look at a couple more. Uh, paraphrasing the question, students, is extremely important because it will give you useful vocabulary and it will also help you to think appropriately or in the correct way uh, for your answer, okay? All right, um, the catastrophic situation is climate change of uh, climate change that happens in the world these days. Um, the catastrophic situation of climate change that is, it's happening continuously, Chayani, right? Is happening uh, in the world these days um, needs uh, solutions, okay? That's a, you have a sentence fragment there, Chayani. Be very careful with that. Okay, instead of what is the key to this problem, Chani, what is the root of this problem is the correct expression. Okay, what is the root, like the roots, the causes? Okay, it's a nice uh, expression in English. So again, students, when you learn a new expression, make sure to write it down, root of, okay, just like the roots of a tree, the root, the cause, the fundamental cause. Okay, uh, what measures can people and authorities take? Um, yes, um, instead of people, Chayani, because people is a group of people, an individual in this context is a single person, and it's important that in your mind, that's very clear when you go into this answer. What can each person, right? We can even emphasize it, and authorities do, you have a missing uh, verb there, to tackle this problem. All right, Chayani, I'm gonna be honest with you here. On my scale of one to 10, 10 being awesome, one being a disaster, this would be about a four, okay? It's paraphrased, yes. There's a, quite a few issues with the grammar and the word choice um, and, um, and accuracy, so it's about a four, okay, out of 10. All right. Um, Five would be like, okay, that was Alexi's, all right? So uh, keep that in mind, all right? Okay, uh, let's see what uh, Romelia has. Fong, I see yours there as well. I'm gonna try to get to as many of these paraphrases as possible before jumping into my own here. Okay, uh, Romelia, let's do this. Um, Romelia says, it is paramount. 
paramount means very important, everybody. It's a nice word. Paramount pictures, right? Um, okay, it is paramount to gain an insight into what factors contribute to climate climate change. You need that. And um, what approach can be taken by both individuals and governments to combat it? Okay. Um, individuals and governments should be paraphrased. You need to start thinking about what that means, right? Uh, combat is okay. Yep. Yeah. It's a nice way to express it. In order to support your arguments, you may use personal experiences and examples. Very nice. I like that paraphrase. Uh, this Romalia, a bit better. Okay. Um, I'd like to see a bit more word replacement. Um, I would say this is about a six on my scale of one to ten. Okay. All right. Chani, don't apologize. Just take notes and learn. Okay. Romelia says, where this problem stems from. Yeah, stemming from is um, is the same as the root of, okay? Stem from means originate, okay? The cause, we can say, where it comes from, right? Lots of ways to say that, for sure, okay? All right, um, not bad, students, not bad. Uh, let me uh, let me give you a little bit of direction here. Uh, first of all, um, I think you can do this without me. Um, what's another way to say climate change? Okay, so um, let's let's focus a little bit on some of these other keywords, uh, especially climate change, because the topic is climate change. You really want to think about other ways to express this so that you're not just writing climate change, climate change, climate change, climate change um, throughout the essay, right? You want to have some different um, words here. So climate change, climate crisis is okay, Anahita. Alexi, climate shifting is a bit awkward. What is climate change? So describe it. Remember, uh, paraphrasing, you can do um, synonyms, you can do descriptive, you could do expressive, meaning using expressions. Okay, global warming is a good one. Yeah, it's not a perfect synonym. It's It's got a little bit of a different definition, but it's close enough that you can use it. Okay, um, yeah, Carolina, good. It's not temperature rising, it's temperature fluctuations. Yeah, uh, we're actually here in Victoria right now looking at a weekend of 30 plus degrees Celsius, which is unprecedented for May. We usually only get that weather in June, July, August. We don't get it in May, and now we're getting it in May. Uh, Baga says unstable weather. Um, yes, so um, irregular weather patterns. Okay, absolutely. Yep. Um, extreme temperature gradients. Okay. Major climate shift. All right. Very important. Okay. Romelia, ecological imbalance. Uh, I saw you do that. Um, it's not really um, accurate, okay? So ecology is all of nature, okay? Equals um, major quantitative shifts in the living world. Um, not really, not directly related or not directly a synonym of climate change. So ecological imbalance is a result of climate change rather than climate change itself. Does that make sense, everybody? Okay, so um, Okay, does that make sense? Yes? So careful with your paraphrasing, okay? Paraphrasing should be accurate, otherwise you're going to confuse the reader what you're actually discussing or talking about, all right? 
So climate change is global warming, right? It's temperature fluctuations, it's irregular weather patterns, um, extreme temperature gradients, uh, major climate shifts, okay? Um, weather irregularities, okay? All right, uh, the closest paraphrase, if I had to choose, so when I have a list like this, what I should be thinking is, you know, what's the best one? What's the one that's going to be the closest so that I have a lot of clarity? Um, it's temperature fluctuations, and if I want to be even more precise, it's extreme uh, temperature fluctuations or extreme temperature gradients, right, where it's really hot or sometimes really cold, too, as we're experiencing in Canada. So. Uh, paraphrasing the topic accurately is a really good idea, okay? Not just for lexical resource, but also for clear thinking. Okay? So keep that in mind. Okay, so let me do a quick paraphrase here and then we'll uh, continue on to a bit of planning here. Okay, everybody? Uh, so here we go. Okay, so this is my paraphrase. Climate change is one of the most significant challenges facing the world today. Extreme temperature fluctuations is a dire problem facing the planet. Dire means like it's a scary, terrible issue, okay? Affecting the planet. Uh, what is the uh, root contributor of of um, climate shift or of shifting weather patterns okay what actions can each person take what actions can each person and now instead of governments right because governments means authorities right of course so instead of governments here I'm trying to think about you know what do we mean by governments and here my best paraphrase when I think about this question is something like nations okay so what actions uh, and instead of actions let's even paraphrase that okay ideally I have 90% word replacement. So what steps can each person and nations implement to curtail this issue? And again, instead of issue, I can think of another word, uh, this concern, okay? Use cases and uh, rationale from your own uh, perspectives to prove points. Okay, there we go. So um, this is my 90% uh, word uh, replacement, okay? Right? So extreme temperature fluctuations are a dire problem affecting the planet. What is the root contributor of shifting weather and patterns? What steps can each person and nations implement to curtail this concern? Use cases and rational from your own perspectives to prove your opinion. Okay? That would be your nine out of 10, 10 out of 10, a paraphrase where it's just awesome okay so that's what we need to see all right
Okay. So now that we have a clear understanding of the question, now that we have some good vocabulary to help us move into this question, uh, we can do a bit of planning, okay? So uh, to do that, we want to identify the topic. Topic here um, should be fairly easy. It's climate change, okay? Uh, when you're um, identifying the topic, don't think of paraphrase, think of the original, okay, in the question. And then when you're thinking about the controlling idea, again, take it from the question, okay? Um, the reasons and individual and government solutions, okay? All right, um, okay, so climate change, what is it, right? So we want to think, and this is the important step here, and this has to happen quickly, right? Because people are like, well, I only have 40 minutes. Yes, but you can't just write a template. Students, if you're trying to do this by a template, you will fail miserably, uh, especially for a topic like climate change because there are too many templates for this type of essay question available online. The IELTS examiners are all too familiar with the templates. So if you have a cookie cutter essay, it will not do well, okay? So this is kind of a warning here uh, for everybody watching, okay? Um, you're, you can't write a high band essay on the IELTS by using a cookie cutter template, okay? So uh, warning, um, you need to plan and write an original essay uh, for uh, popular topics, especially for uh, task two uh, to get high scores, uh, you must not write a uh, cookie cutter, one word, cookie cutter uh, template essay. Uh, because you will get scored low. So do not write um, climate change is a major problem today and this essay will discuss the uh, causes and solutions below. Okay, um, this would equal a band uh, five essay. Okay, you can't write that, all right? Because if the examiner reads 100 of these, they're obviously not going to be giving out 100 band seven, eight, nine essays, okay? All right, hopefully that's very clear for all of our viewers. I know that for many of our regular students, that's very, very clear, okay? So be very, very careful, okay? You can't write like that, right? All right. Um, <laughs> Domenico says, I hate templates. Yeah, it's unoriginal, um, especially now uh, with chat GPT and with AI, because um, there's so many kind of typical kinds of writing coming out. People really want to see original thought, original writing um, for good scores. Okay. All right. Um, so uh, you have to do some quick and critical thinking. Okay, so what does that mean? Think, what, why, how, about the topic and controlling ideas. Now, members, do this with me, okay? So um, while I'm doing this, I want you to do the same. Let's see if we come up with maybe some similar ideas, maybe some different ideas. Maybe together, which of course, unfortunately, we can't do in the real test is put our heads together, but together maybe we'll some, come up with the best ideas, with some great ideas. It will definitely help us to learn to think, okay? So first question would be like, what is climate change, okay? Um, so my answer here is different um, temperatures uh, in different seasons that are um, unpredictable 
from each year to the next. Okay, so that would be uh, my concept of uh, what is climate change. Um, why is climate important? It has a strong impact on the living world and the existence uh, and prosperity of humans. Okay, so that would be my why question here. So I wouldn't say why is it happening yet. I would say why is it important? Like why are we even talking about this, right? It's a human perspective uh, of the living world, right? So how does this happen? So how is this observable? Okay. Um, all right, an extra uh, five degrees Celsius in the summer um, from 2022, July uh, 30 degrees uh, to 2023. 35 degrees average okay so that would just be a quick simple example to get me thinking on it notice how this is really fast right now in the real IELTS exam I'm just thinking about this I'm not writing it down I don't have enough time to write this down right so it's just in my head but at home I'm definitely going through these steps right to train my thinking to train my critical thinking to get more vocabulary and to build the skeleton or the scaffold uh, for the essay. All right, so that's the goal here. All right. Um, okay, so now we get into the um, interesting questions of the controlling ideas, right? So, uh, what is the cause of climate change? All right. Now, if I think about the causes of climate change, I think about two answers to this. Um, one is uh, human action. Uh, human action uh, and uh, natural changes of Earth. Okay? Um, so that's what I would say causes it. Okay? Um, why is it happening? Okay. Um, okay, so we can say human pollution, um, that affects the atmosphere, okay, uh, like the ozone layer, okay, and then um, what are natural changes, the uh, shifting of the Earth and its relative uh, position to the sun. Okay. All right. That's one a lot of people don't think about, right? So a lot of us are indoctrinated. We think about climate change and uh, we watch all these movies and we think humans do it all. Humans love to be the cause and creator of every uh, major phenomenon, but ironically, um, most of these phenomenon happen without us. And there's very good evidence of that. Um, so, uh, the shifting of the Earth and its relative position um, to the Sun, right? Sure. All right. How's it happening? Okay. Uh, humans are burning fossil fuels, right? Okay, so driving around all those cars, burning all those uh, fuels in factories to produce and manufacture. Um, humans are burning fossil fuels. The earth is rotating on its axis um, and uh, changing its um, direction or trajectory around the sun okay it's one that people don't think about we don't like to think about it because we feel it's out of our control we think ah we can't do anything about that who knows maybe if we stopped uh, trying to 
war with each other and other nonsense uh, projects, we could actually figure out how to shift the earth in such a way that uh, we could uh, have better alignment um, for uh, the earth around the sun, right? Even the sun is changing as well. Did everybody think about that? Did everybody think about the natural positioning of the earth and the way that the earth moves around the sun? Right, where this very, if you think about it, everybody, okay, and this is a, just some food for thought for you. Uh, if you think about it, right, you have the sun, which is this uh, giant uh, ball of burning gas, okay, and then uh, you have the earth, which is basically uh, this, uh, yeah, does everybody see that little green? It's a little speck like that, okay. And uh, you've got the uh, trajectory of the Earth here going around the sun like that, right? Now you can imagine that you don't need a lot of movement here of the Earth um, going towards or away uh, from the sun to uh, create temperature gradients of a few Celsius. Just think about if you've ever been around a campfire and you're walking closer and you're walking further away, you can definitely feel some climate change uh, around the campfire, right? Okay, um, so think about that, right? Think outside the box. Weather patterns changed long before humans started driving cars, right? But that doesn't mean that we can't slow it down, right? So instead of speeding it up by adding uh, to the issue, maybe focus on Fixing it, slowing it down, right? Let's do it. So we're getting all these great thoughts. We can get into our essay now, right? So let's get into some solutions, okay? So solutions is use alternative fuel sources, right? Less pollution, okay? And what would be another solution, right? I would say that if we were really smart, then we wouldn't just be talking about using uh, less fossil fuels and um, protecting our atmosphere and our ozone layer, right? But if we were really smart, like aliens from another planet level smart, we would actually be developing technology. And hey, maybe we're doing that, right? We just have to research a bit. Uh, we would be developing technology to help the Earth's atmosphere adjust for natural shifts um, around the sun, right? So now that would be something that governments that we would need to do as a group, right? It would be pretty tricky to do that as an individual. Hey guys, I've got an idea. I'm going to go out there and hit this hammer and send the earth that way about 0 0.02 degrees that should adjust our climate change for the next year I just need this really big hammer called Mjolnir I think it's Thor's hammer it should be strong enough I just I need to lift it and I can whack the planet a little bit to the left a little bit upwards adjust slightly and we'll go back to regular summers and regular winters everybody with me on this one let's go get Thor's hammer all right, uh, so, but on a serious note, right? Um, we're very smart as humans, especially when we put our heads together. Maybe some of you heard about that um, interesting uh, project that happened just uh, this past year where they shot a missile at a, at a comet, I think, right? A meteor to see if we can uh, deflect uh, dangerous uh, comets or meteors that could impact the earth, right? All right, so develop technology to uh, adjust uh, for the Earth's shift around the sun. Okay, so I have my two problems. I have my solutions. So I can see now where I'm going with this essay. So I can write my thesis statement. Okay, uh, the thesis statement is the foundation of the essay, as you all know. So it goes in the introduction, it goes at the end of the introductory paragraph. It has to be clear, it has to be powerful, right? A clear, powerful statement 
that directly answers the question and outlines the essay. Okay, for those of you going for a band seven, band eight, band nine, or a really good shot at a band 6.5, even if you have some uh, grammar mistakes and spelling mistakes, this is what you need to do, okay? So you need to have a thesis statement like this, all right? Uh, climate change is caused by both human action and natural uh, shifts. Okay, now um, what are the solutions to this, right? Nevertheless, humans uh, or individuals and by the way for the thesis I don't have to paraphrase I can use the words from the question so the paraphrase is not for your thesis okay you can but I recommend for the IELTS you don't need to be too fancy or too tricky um, for the thesis you can use the words from the question so it's very clear for the examiner that you're answering the right topic the right controlling idea so climate change is caused by both human action and natural shift nevertheless uh, individuals and nations can uh, take can um, come up with solutions by developing technology to uh, reduce pollution and natural impact okay now here the uh, reader is probably thinking like what is natural shift what is natural impact don't worry about that you're going to explain that for your reader in the body paragraphs right so climate change is caused by both human action and natural shift uh, actions and natural shifts uh, nevertheless individuals and nations can come up with solutions uh, by developing technology to reduce pollution and natural impact All right, I don't like the natural impact. I don't like this yet. So I'm trying to think of a way to state, you know, the shifting earth um, or our movement around the sun. Now, if I can't think about that, I'm just going to leave it, okay? I, I'm not going to worry about it because as I develop my essay and write the full introduction, the body paragraphs, I'll get a lot more ideas. I'll think of a lot more English, a lot more vocabulary. So um, if you're not sure exactly what word to use, just, make a note of it this is where your note paper can be useful in task two that you go okay natural impact in my thesis not the best word it's not really parallel grammar because it's reduce pollution reduce natural impact this should be just one word okay so either i have to change this or this or both and i'm not going to worry about that right now i'm just going to leave it i want to get my brain and my ideas and my english flowing so i'm going to keep going all right, um, and uh, by the way here, uh, viewers, members, you can see that I am on a roll, so I want to keep my brain you know, moving, but that doesn't mean I don't want you to write, okay? So Domenico, I can see, um, Domenico says, when the last ice age occurred, a change in the orbit of the planet uh, took place, it moved further, which brought about the ice age. Yeah, Domenico, that's the theory, right? Is that there could have been some kind of a, an unexpected shift in the rotation and that's why the ice age happened because we suddenly moved a little bit the other direction right from the sun there was a, a little bit of a exclusion there angel says investing in research and development of new technology which is helpful for instance like solar panels um, yeah angel don't get into too many details like solar panels or solar energy you can say that in the body paragraph okay Alexi says, climate conditions have a strong impact on humanity's uh, daily life. 
Even slight changes lead to disaster. Alexi, simplify, don't use will, okay? It is now, especially climate change. It's not something that will happen, it's happening now. It's very dangerous to presume that it's in the future. It's now, okay? Anahita says, climate change stems from both natural and unnatural carbon emissions. Um, I wouldn't say carbon emissions, Anahita, I would say forces, okay? All right. Um, yeah, and you know what, Anahita, we could use that here. So uh, individuals and nations can come up with solutions by developing technology to reduce harmful impacts of uh, natural and unnatural causes, okay? Now here, I might want to change the first causes, okay? Climate change uh, stems from, right? And then I'm not repeating. So climate change stems from both human actions and natural shifts. Nevertheless, um, or we can even say Earth's, we can allude to it. Shifts, nevertheless, um, Individuals and nations can come up with solutions by developing technology to redu reduce harmful impacts of natural and unnatural causes. Now, I want this to line up with this, right? So the causes as well. So I would change this to both Earth's movement and human action right when you're at home everybody uh, you should work to um, make your thesis better and better great thesis statements get great results okay everybody clear on that I'd love to see some thumbs up on that because that is an absolutely vital point for high band scores okay so keep that in mind that um, great thesis statements get great results on IELTS and in university okay lots of thumbs up good right so work on your thesis, work on being able to generate better and better and better thesis statements, okay? You can see, and we can keep improving. I'm sure there are a lot of very clever people out there that would say, yeah, Adrian, that thesis statement is okay, but we could write a much better one than that. Uh, so climate change stems from both Earth's movement and human action. Nevertheless, individuals and nations can come up with solutions by developing technology to reduce harmful impacts of natural and unnatural causes of these. We can even allude more specifically, natural and unnatural causes. Okay, that thesis is starting to look pretty good for me. Anyway, especially for the IELTS, okay? We can do a band nine with that. All right, um, so let's get into the introduction, okay? Now the introduction has the hook, background, and thesis. Okay, it has those three parts. Okay, let's start with the hook. All right, hook is an interesting, simple statement that catches the uh, reader's attention. Okay, now climate change. give me an interesting fact that will catch my reader about climate change and that will get that reader to continue reading my essay okay Alexi says climate conditions has a strong impact on humanity's daily life even slight changes lead humanity to devastating consequences no um, Alexi too complicated I want you to write it much shorter and you can say the same or you can state the same with half the words okay so much shorter 
All right, Domenico says, by implementing innovative technology to alleviate natural and unnatural causes. Um, okay, yeah, Domenico, that's good for the thesis. I think you're still on the thesis there. Uh, if it's the hook, make sure you write an H just so that I know it's the hook, okay? I want to see a hook here that's no more than 12 words, okay? The hook should not have mistakes with grammar, with vocabulary. It should not be wordy. It should be quick, short, and impactful, like a punch. You're basically punching your reader. You're like, bang, pay attention. <laughs> I've got something important to say. <laughs> Whoa, hey, hey, okay, what do you got? Um, so the hook is quick, short, perfect. It's a perfect punch, perfect. It's a perfect little jab. Let's call it the perfect jab. Okay, that's your hook. It's like catching the fish, right? Your perfect lure, okay? There we go, Carolina gave us a little jab punch there. Okay, um, so uh, Amra says, our planet is in peril and the looming threat of climate change demands urgent attention. Okay, Amra, that's good. Now simplify that, okay? Watch this, climate change threatens human existence within 50 years time. Let's see how many words that is. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine words, climate change threatens human existence within 50 years. Ooh, <laughs> mic drop, <laughs> right? No, it's, if you read that, right? If you're reading an article or if you see that on a magazine, you might continue reading like, uh, I think I'm still gonna be alive then or I'm gonna try to be alive then. Let's, uh, let's see what this person has to say or what this article has to say, right? So climate change threatens human existence within 50 years time. Fuang's like, uh oh. Sadly, it might not be a false statement, right? Okay, Anahita says, that's similar to my hook. Uh, where is your hook, Anahita? I don't see it. Okay, make sure to share. Um, I'd love to read it. Okay, Gopu says, the drastic change in climate is one of the major problems all around the world. This essay will depict the main roots. Um, Gopu, that is a band five essay, as I mentioned. It's a template. Examiners don't like it. You're just repeating the question and you're using a template thesis. It's not good, okay? You have to learn a better thesis. Watch what I do here, Gopu, in the next couple minutes and you're going to see a major difference between that type of writing and what I'm showing you. Okay. Chayani says, uh, climate change comes from human activities and natural movement. However, individuals uh, and governments can address this issue by creating advanced technology to reduce natural and unnatural damage. Yeah, okay, or impact. I don't know if damage is the right word there, Chayani. I would say impact, impact, right? It's like, pow, impacting the climate, okay? Domenico uh, writes, climate change has emerged as a threatening challenge that demands undivided attention. I like it, Domenico. That's a good one. That's uh, it's a good one, okay? Chayani says you could also use a half a century. Yes, okay. All right, so now we do the background, right? So um, what is climate change, right? Definitions, okay? Uh, plus importance. Okay, so here what I want to do is I want to tell my reader what is this, what are we talking about, right? And um, and why is it important, okay? So each year uh, temperature averages increase in fluctuation by more than uh, one degrees uh, Celsius or centigrade. This means that within 50 years, summer highs can reach over 60 degrees Celsius making life 
virtually impossible. Okay, that would be my definition of climate change and the importance. And that will get you reading, right? It's all connected. So uh, notice, climate change threatens human existence within 50 years. Each year, now if I don't want to repeat year, I can say annum. Each annum. Temperature gradients, now this is a time leading expression, so let's use a comma after. Each annum, temperature averages increase in fluctuation by more than one degree centigrade. This means that within 50 years, summer high highs uh, can reach over 60 degrees Celsius, making life virtually impossible. And here I can even use an exclamation mark because it's like a warning, right? It's like making life impossible, right? We can't survive 60, 70 degrees. Plants can't survive in that temperature. We're doomed, right? That's it's, uh, it's an issue, right? It's all fun and games when we're still just sweating and turning on air conditioners, but it's not so much fun and games anymore when plants can't grow, right? Okay, and we have uh, deserts and high oceans. All right, well, um, let's put our thesis in there. Hey, if everybody's getting depressed, blame Anahita, not me. She's the one that requested this topic. God, deflection. <laughs> just, okay. Don't blame Anahita. It's all of us, all humans. We need to take action, right? Um, so uh, for the background, I kid with you, Anahita. I kid with you, right? Um, watch what you ask for, right? <laughs> watch what you ask for. You might just get a doomsday essay. Um, all right. So, um, let's put that thesis in there. There we go. Now we've got our band nine introduction, okay? Original, provocative, and coherent with clear direction, okay? That's why that would be considered a uh, band nine uh, level piece of writing, right? Or as close as you can get to that band nine, right? I don't like that pink, let's make that a green, All right? So here we go, uh, reread, uh, especially your introduction, and I do recommend taking a minute to reread your introduction in the actual exam as well. It's a good idea, students, I used to say like, review your essay at the end, so leave like three, four minutes to read through your essay and check for spelling mistakes and grammar mistakes that can hurt your IELTS score. But now I'm more like, mm, check after each paragraph while it's fresh in your head, so um, it's better. Okay, so here we go. Climate change threatens human existence within 50 years. Each annum, temperature averages increase in fluctuation by more than one degree centigrade. This means that within 50 years, summers, summer highs can reach over 60 degrees Celsius, making life virtually impossible. Okay, well, for humans anyway. Uh, climate change stems from both Earth's movement and human action. Nevertheless, individuals and nations can come up with solutions by developing technology to reduce harmful impacts of these natural and unnatural causes. Okay. All right. Now, I write about body one. And body one here clearly uh, should be about the cause of um, Earth's movement. and solutions, okay? So I'm not sure what those solutions are yet, but I won't worry about that. I'll let my brain kind of get to that step or evolve that thought as I'm moving along, right? So um, body paragraphs, everybody, what do they need? They need a topic sentence. Uh, they need an explanation. They need an example. And they need um, a uh, connecting sentence, okay? And we can do that here. We can do it very well. 
All right, let's do this. So Amra's background says the Earth's climate is changing at an unprecedented rate with the past few decades being the warmest on record. This means that after five decades, the temperatures can reach 50 degrees Celsius. Amra, very good, very good. And then continue that with making life impossible. Yeah, exactly, Amra. That will get your reader going, okay? Good, nice. Uh, Chayani, watch your grammar, okay, for your hook. Uh, humankind and animals have suffered due to climate change or global warming, okay? So Chayani, shift that around a bit. Otherwise, it's uh, confusing. Don't make mistakes in your grammar. Chayani, lots of reading, okay? Lots of grammar practice. Um all right, Alexi says, throughout the previous century, the mean temperature has risen by five degrees Celsius and it is still increasing. This means that the vast amount of crops are in danger of drought. Yes, Alexi, that's good. That might come into play later in your essay, um, but it's good, okay? Uh, it's not just crops, right? Alexi, when you think about crops, then life. So life is in danger. Make sure to think of the big picture, right? If food sources die, we die. So we all die, right? Um, we need to really encompass the whole picture here, right? Um, Alexi says, throughout the previous century, the mean temperature has... Okay. All right. You got to repeat there, Alexi. All right. Uh, so body one, um, body one is the problem of earth shifting, okay? A prime contributor uh, to irregular weather patterns, extremely hot, summers and colder winters is due to the changing uh, movement of the earth on its axis and um, its trajectory relative to the sun okay so this is my topic sentence all right basically i'm telling the reader what that means right because some readers like i've explained it to you but your readers fresh and new they might not understand or they might not be thinking about this right they're not uh, what Oh yeah, wait, that's right, the earth, it's moving. It's not just us, but the earth too. Um, and I think the reason people don't like to talk about that so much, or scientists is because, or governments don't let them talk about that too much in the media is because then people just get scared. We don't think that, you know, we can't control this and we can't control the sun, we can't control the earth, they're just too big. So uh, why scare people, right? But it's reality, um, so I'm here to share. I'm gonna be honest with you, in my opinion. IMO, right? A prime contributor to irregular weather patterns, extremely hot summers and cold winters, is due to the changing movement of the earth on its axis and its trajectory relative to the sun. Clearly, a small galactic object um, is largely impacted or clearly the temperature surface temperature let's be of a small galactic object is largely impacted when it moves closer or further to a massive burning star such as our sun okay now, uh, that would be my explanation. Okay, now I only have about 300, 350 words to write my essay, students. Keep that in mind, um, even if you're a quick 
uh, touch typer or quick with your handwriting, you don't really want to go over that 350 word threshold. It is the IELTS, it's not a university essay. Climate change is a big topic. You could write a whole book on this topic alone, like a 200 page book, especially with today's research. But that's not what we're doing here. We're just writing a very concise essay, right? So I have to keep my thoughts in the game. I have to keep it concise. Um, and um, that's what I want you to do, okay? So Angel, it's not that difficult to write about earth transformation. You can write about it in simple words. Look at what you're doing right now, Angel. You're seeing earth is transforming. That's a great piece of vocabulary. You can say earth is continuously transforming, right? Okay, um, and then I can give an example. Uh, that proves to the reader that, hey, wait a second, climate change isn't new, okay? So, um, in fact, Earth has undergone extreme um, climate change prior to human action such as the last ice age. Ice age is capital because um, it's um, uh, it's the name of that era, okay? Now notice how I'm writing this essay in third person voice. Um, you can write this essay in third person voice. Uh, why? Well, because there's data out there, there's facts, right? So it's not my opinion. The ice age is not my opinion. We can see it. We can measure it, okay? If you live in British Columbia where I live, you can see the glaciers left by the Ice Age. There's no argument. It wasn't dropped there by a magical being. Oh, here's a big piece of ice for you to look at for the next 100,000 years. Um, so, no, it's you can see it's an ancient piece of ice that obviously wasn't necessarily there before. So, it's like, you know, or like a rock that was shifted there by the ice. So you can see it, right? It's not, I believe an ice age happened. It's like, ice age happened, people. There's a frozen mammoth in the ice. <laughs> it's there, I can see it. Um, all right, so, in fact, Earth has undergone extreme climate change prior to human action, such as the last ice age. All right, nevertheless, Governments, here's my solution, okay, because it's a solution essay. Uh, can use billions of dollars to fund um, projects that may be able to adjust Earth's movement to accommodate for these natural shifts. And now, because I use natural shifts, um, it's clear, okay? And now, I can get really creative here and talk about precision explosions. Uh, for example, by the way, nuclear uh, weapons have shown to shift the Earth's atmosphere. So that's another reason it's not a good idea to just randomly throw bombs and nuclear weapons, um, but uh, or test them even. Um, but um, I'm not going to go into that much detail. Okay. So nevertheless, governments can use billions of dollars to fund projects that may be able to adjust Earth's movements to accommodate uh, these natural sh shifts. If you really thought of this and you, hey, I want to use this uh, with. Um, precision um, detonations, okay, yeah, possible, all right, uh, and I hate this says, can I use two body paragraphs based on unnatural causes and natural solutions? Um, yeah, I mean, Anahita, there's so many different ways that you could write about this. 
but I would probably uh, write about this in this way, where I would write about this as the unnatural causes and solutions, and then the natural causes and solutions. And there's a very good reason for that, okay? I'm going to um, show you um, why here, okay? This is my connecting sentence, okay? Uh, however, it is the unnatural uh, causes and solutions that are uh, the uh, easier um, first step. I'm going to say that, okay? So yeah, okay, Earth is shifting, Earth is changing. Okay, um, we can develop some insanely advanced science to try to fix that. But really, let's just fix the problem that we're making as humans first, right? That's probably the easier first step. I would assume that that's the first easier step. Um, so I'm going to write about that, okay? All right, topic. It is evident that industrialization has played a major uh, part in um, global warming. Okay, so see, we're using all that great vocabulary. Uh, industrialization, okay, of course, I said I'd teach you vocabulary here as well. So industrialization is the development of technology, factories, uh, transportation systems, burning fossil fuels that we have been kind of developing since the 17th, 18th century, okay? So it is evident that industrialization has played a major part in uh, global warming and um, this needs immediate attention. And then explanation, right? Let's explain it. Now, of course, having a bit of understanding of history and um, the past is important so that we can understand and change the future, right? Anahit is asking, I mean, can I, uh, men can I do this without uh, mentioning the natural causes? Yeah, Anahita, you could. But if I'm an examiner and I see an essay that discusses this topic from this direction where they realize that, hey, there's a big part of nature that's playing uh, uh, into climate change, I would think that that's a much better essay. So content is king, everybody. Keep that in mind. So good ideas lead to a good thesis lead which lead to a good score and this is easy to prove so think logically right um, if you read an essay that only talks of human cause and solution and another essay that discusses both natural and unnatural causes and solutions. Which would you like better? I mean, which would you find more interesting and um, give a better score, give higher value, let's say. Okay, so it's logic, right? Don't let me tell you, don't let the other IELTS teacher guy on YouTube tell you or somewhere else, but think for yourself, right? It's up here, okay? So um, Anahita, it makes sense, right? If we're talking about pollution and this and that, and I've read 50 essays that talk about that and I've given out some band fives, some sixes, some eights, because they're really good and well-written. And then suddenly, boom, here comes an essay that's like, okay, global warming, climate change, humans and nature cause that. 
Hey, think of the Ice Age, way before human technology. Oh yeah. Wow, okay, um, and IELTS is not a test of non-native English, as I mentioned for you. The writing section is by far the most difficult to get a band eight, band nine, and absolutely you need to impress the examiner with both your English and your thoughts. Now, if you can't do it with your English because your English has some grammar mistakes, word mistakes, you can probably still get a better score by impressing them a bit with the actual content of your essay. Okay, uh, makes sense, right? And I can see that many people uh, in the chat are saying, yeah, the second one just makes for a lot better read, right? So let's jump back to the second paragraph here. It is evident that industrialization has played a major part in global warming, and this uh, needs immediate attention. Uh, indeed, since uh, the uh, 18th century, uh, 17th century, let's be a little bit more accurate here. Humans have increased technology, production, and uh, population, burning fossil fuels at an accelerated rate, leading to greenhouse to the uh, greenhouse effect okay uh, greenhouse effect here i think we can go small g on this one um, but if you go big it's okay too um, so greenhouse effect of course is trapping the heat on the surface of the earth with those gases okay you don't need to explain that the IELTS examiner knows what that is okay so again uh, some important vocabulary here greenhouse effect okay uh, indeed since the 17th century humans have increased technology production now notice here the present perfect right grammatical range and population burning fossil fuels at an accelerated rate leading to greenhouse effects uh, since the uh, exa uh, example here, right? Since the um, 1800s, temperatures have uh, changed drastically. Okay. An immediate solution. Now, I have the word immediate here. Uh, so I don't want to say Im immediate again. So a quick solution, right? Again, you don't have to overthink it. You don't have to think of a really fancy word. It's not about a whole bunch of fancy words put together in this strange and confusing way. So a quick solution is to abandon uh, burning um, petrol let's say. Now, fossil fuels, it's more than just gasoline or petrol, right? Um, but let's, it's okay. Uh, a quick solution to abandon burning petrol is to use alternative energy sources uh, such as solar. Okay. All right. So now uh, each person, right? Let's not forget the topic here. Each person should take responsibility and replace their uh, gas-powered cars to electric vehicles. Okay? So that would be the uh, solution, explanation, example, all in one. Again, remember, two, 300, 350 words, 250 minimum, right? So if I look at what I have now, now I've got a lot of words that are used for explaining the steps and so on. But right now, um, so far, uh, this is about 200 words, okay? From the introduction, oh, sorry. From the introduction to the end of body paragraph two, it's about 250 words. OK, 
Okay, so I've got about 250 words. So now I can write the conclusion. I don't need a, um, a connecting sentence here because the conclusion connects the whole essay. It's like the wrapper. Okay, it wraps the whole essay, if you will. All right. Okay. All right. No, Alexi, the examiner does not check the information. It just has to be believable. So if you say like industrialization since the 16th century, they're not going to check. Or if you say 18th century, as long as you're not saying like uh, industrialization since uh, 2000 BCE. What? Right? So as long as it's relatively accurate information, the examiner is not going to check, but you can't sit, you know, you can't make a completely whack statement because then the examiner thinks that you're making mistakes with uh, word choice, right? Um, Angel, I believe in the, um, in the computer-based exam, it actually shows you how many words you have, okay? Um, and in uh, the paper-based exam, if you count three lines, so uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37. So I have 37 words in three lines uh, divided by three, okay, um, is roughly 12. And then I count the number of lines, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, and then I do the quick math, 12 times 18, um, roughly about uh, 200 and something, then I can do an, an approximate of how many I have. But you have, you can feel that um, at home when you're, when you're doing it, okay? So let's do this. Let me write the conclusion, okay? Uh, let me take this out of here. Let me put that instruction at the top there. Okay, let's put it here. Makes sense to put it here. Okay, and then, um, no, you don't need to count your words on Ahita. As long as you have around 300, 350 with good information, you're fine, okay? All right, conclusion. Uh, conclusion, everybody, is restating points plus add or strengthen your argument plus a take home message. Don't overcomplicate it in the IELTS, okay? So here's my restating points, okay? In conclusion, Both humanity and Earth's natural or evolution has resulted in the current uh, temperature fluctuations that threaten life. However, there are possible ways to avoid um, doomsday. It's one word, yeah, doomsday, okay? All right, um, individuals need to change their lifestyles by taking action to reduce carbon footprint and authorities must address the science of natural shifts in Earth's galactic positioning ultimately 
we need to tackle these challenges to ensure the long-term prosperity of the living world. Okay, um, there's my uh, conclusion, uh, my argument strengthened. Okay, and my take home message. All right. So uh, there we go, everybody. Um, I'm gonna read through this uh, for the last few minutes. Read, read with me, okay? And when you're at home, you should always go back to the original question again. Anahita, thank you for sending this question in, okay? Uh, so here's the question. Uh, spend 40 minutes on this task. Climate change is one of the most significant challenges facing the world today. What are the causes of climate change? What actions can individuals and governments take to address this issue, use explanations and examples from your own experience to support your points. Okay, let's jump in. Let's see how well we do. Climate change threatens human existence within 50 years time. Each annum temperature averages increase in fluctuation by more than one degree centigrade. This means that within 50 years, summer highs can reach over 60 degrees Celsius, making life virtually impossible. Climate change stems from both Earth's movement and human action. Nevertheless, individuals and nations can come up with solutions by developing technology to reduce harmful impacts of these natural and unnatural causes. A prime contributor to irregular weather patterns, extremely hot summers and cold winters, is due to the changing movement of the Earth on its axis and its trajectory relative to the Sun. Clearly, the surface temperature of small galactic object of a small galactic object is largely impacted when it moves closer or further to a massive burning star, such as our sun. In fact, Earth has undergone extreme climate change prior to human action, such as the last ice age. Nevertheless, governments can use billions of dollars to fund projects that may be able to adjust Earth's movements to accommodate for these natural shifts with precision explosions. However, it is the unnatural causes and solutions that are the easier first step. It is evident that industrialization has played a major part in global warming and this needs immediate attention. Indeed, since the 17th century, humans have increased technology, production, and population, burning fossil fuels at an accelerated rate, leading to the greenhouse effect. Since the 1800s, temperatures have changed drastically. A quick solution is to abandon burning petrol. A quick solution is to abandon burning petrol and to use alternative energy sources such as solar. Each person should take responsibility and replace their gas powered car to an, because it's each electric vehicle. Like a Tesla, let's do a quick Tesla ad. <laughs> like a Tesla, okay, be specific. In conclusion, both humanity and Earth's evolution has resulted in the current temperature fluctuations that threaten life. However, there are possible ways to avoid doomsday. Individuals need to change their lifestyles by taking action to reduce carbon footprint, and authorities must address the science of natural shifts in Earth's galactic positioning. Ultimately, we need to tackle these challenges to ensure the long-term prosperity of the living world, humans included. And here we can go us included, okay? Because us, me, the reader, we included, all right? Students, that would get you a band nine for that question, okay? It's in depth, it's provocative, good, clear thought. It's not impossible, you can do it. I do believe that you can do it. You just need to practice, practice the planning, practice that thesis statement, and there are many other ways to answer this 
question in a great way. This is one approach that I took today. I think some of you that have been with me a long time have probably seen me do it a couple of different ways, right? We've had this topic or similar topics come up, okay? Um, I will post this on our YouTube community post, this essay with this question a little bit later today or tomorrow, so watch out for that, okay? And for a lot more great essays and great practice, go to uh, aehelp.com, okay, for academic IELTS, gieltshelp.com for general. Uh, we will have a listening class coming up in 30 minutes, listening part one and two, and those materials will be coming from our websites, from aehelp.com and gieltshelp.com. So click that big red button that's just right above my head there to learn the right strategies and steps for good communication, writing, speaking, good listening, good reading. Um, for general IELTS, uh, gieltshelp.com, there it is, same thing, red button. One-time payment, lifetime access, uh, not much money, so really worth it. Some, somebody actually wrote an email yesterday to us saying like, wow, you guys give all these videos and exams and content for that much? That's crazy. I had no idea. Um, so yeah, uh, that was nice to read that. Uh, okay, everybody, so aehelp.com, gieltshelp.com. That's where you want to be. Uh, members, thank you for your support. Thank you for all that writing. Domenico, I did read the body paragraph one there. That's a great start. Okay, so I was looking at what you're doing there as well. See you in 30 minutes for the next class, students. Um, be happy. Humans are smart. We'll figure out the solutions. We'll think about what you can do to slow down climate change. Bye for now, everybody. See you shortly.